Hey, what's up everybody? We are headed to the farmer's market. It's uh, one of the great places to come when you come to LA. It's been there since 1934, October. And uh, there's definitely some interesting people there. So we're gonna do some filming. I'll do some filming of the walk over there because I live in West Hollywood and where I live is walkable to everything. That's the beauty of living in West Hollywood. See, it's not just nightclubs and bars here. There's actually a lot to do when you live here. I know a lot of people who don't live in West Hollywood think all we do here is go out and drink every night. That's only on the weekend. So this is Oki Dog. It's been here for a long time. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on on the roof right now. Uh, my friend says it looks like art, but uh, this is actually, this guy who owns this actually had a Donald Trump support sign when our uh, douchebag president was running for office. Um, yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on here. But it's definitely interesting. I mean, you... I've... To be honest with you, I've never even eaten here because, I mean, the menu, look at it. I mean, I think you're really would... I really think you'd be taking a really big risk. Uh, probably, you know, I don't see anybody ever eating there, but it's been here. I have to assume he owns the actual land. That's why he's able to keep it open. Uh, but there's Okie Dog. If you ever want to try a, a crazy hot dog that... Uh, <laughs> They haven't updated their place in a long time. That's definitely the place to go. All right, we're gonna stop and get a lottery ticket at the Lucky Retailer. This uh, place has had multiple winners. Two times people won the, the Mega Pops. So I'm gonna stop, get one ticket, whoever games the biggest. And then on our way to Farmer's Market, we'll be heading down Fairfax and you'll see a lot of cool shops that they have. All right, this is the Lucky Lottery Retailer place. Uh, I don't think they have to do anything because I know they get a piece of the winnings. You can see they have, they just keep it out here on the street. So if you want to play your own numbers, but let's go inside. All right, here we go. Winning, winning numbers right here. All right, this is uh, Fairfax, and we're coming. This is where all the people come for, uh, I guess, uh, uh, trendy fashion stuff. We're still a little bit, maybe a block away, but just wanted to give you a quick view of it. There's Cantor's Jewish Deli. It's one of my favorite delis in LA. Uh, we will do a whole thing on Cantor's, but not today. They have an amazing chopped liver sandwich. All right, there's Cantor's Jewish Deli. It's been here, I believe, since, God, I think the 50s or 40s. So for 24 hours, they're the best chopped liver sandwich in town. And uh, pastrami, everything Jewish Deli is amazing there. There, there's uh, now that's not graffiti up there. If you look on top of the roof line, that's actually art that people painted. LA has a lot of art like this on its buildings, and uh, you just have to find out where they all are. But they're really talented artists here in LA. So, here's a better view of uh, CBS, the studios. And this is, I mean, this is what people come to LA for they come to see studios, they, they're fascinated by Hollywood. Um, if you were going to ever come to Hollywood though, and you wanted to see a studio, I would recommend Warner Brothers has a backstage tour. It's about two hours for $55. You gotta remember Universal Studios is uh, a theme park. It's not a, a studio. So if you are going to do a studio tour, definitely do the Warner Brothers. That's my recommendation. Uh, but LA is full of Hollywood and um, oftentimes you'll see filming on the streets here. It's very commonplace. Okay, we made it to the farmer's market now. This is my friend Long. Say hi, Long. He's uh, he's assisting me today at times. 
uh, we're gonna go to the farmers market now. So this is the the Grove. This is what people off time will come to LA, and this is a destination spot. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, and you guys will be able to see the Grove. All right, we're gonna cross the street here into the farmers market, and you can see the farmers market sign. Now uh, we are gonna go inside the farmers market. I don't want you to be disappointed this is not actually a real farmers market anymore they are a bunch of food stands and people do just go there to eat so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get inside the farmers market okay here we are at the farmers market we're gonna go on in And you will see a lot of people, tourists here, um, and locals. Locals do come here to eat. And it's uh, tough competition in this farmer's market. You can see this restaurant already, was already here. It's already out of business. doesn't take long. You either got to have good food here or you're gone. That's just the way it is in L.A. All right, we'll see how busy it is today. It's a, it's a, today's a national holiday here. A lot of people sleep in, sleep in. They don't really even come out. But anyways, let's uh, check it out. So here you have uh, Chinese food. You'll see a lot of stalls like this here. Um, you know, many, many restaurants, many things here. Uh, there's anything from omelets. There you see omelets. Um, you could sit anywhere at the farmer's market. Uh, you notice uh, there's always open seats. Normally this place is much busier than it is, but... Uh, we did go earlier. Um, you could buy fresh meats here, as you see here. Um, plenty of meats and uh, food. Uh, normally this place would be wall-to-wall -wall people, but it's just, I think, a little early. And I did this purposely, so I didn't have to deal with all the people that come here. Uh, you buy fresh uh, vegetables here, and, and they do sell fruits. And they have everything from, uh, you know, candies and peanuts. Um, here's a candy stall. You could buy candies here. And uh, you'll see a large variety of uh, different candies and popcorns. Once again, normally those seats you're seeing all empty or really quite full. And, um, you know, people having coffee and lunch here. Um, just lots of things to do in a farmer's market here. Um, right here is a tea shop. Uh, if you like tea, they actually, uh, you can buy tea leaves and have tea here. And then once again, more meats. You'll see, uh, you know, people uh, do come in for eggs and meats. And uh, those chairs that you're seeing are normally full. So we, we came here early time. And here you got some nuts, peanuts, different types of fresh nuts. And uh, this stall is pretty cool because uh, they actually make their own peanut butter. Um, check this out. They're going to show you the peanut butter machine they make here. And they're actually making peanut butter right now. So um, you can see that. I have to imagine when the farmer's market opened a long time ago, it looked very different than actually these uh, permanent stalls that are here. But um, this is a, definitely an icon of LA, so people do. This is one of the destinations. Tour buses come here every day, and uh, people do plan their meals here. There's another pastry shop with different uh, pastries and cookies. And you can see, once again, there's another fresh eggs, meat. Now, um, those desserts look delicious. I would have, uh, I actually have never really eaten the desserts here, but they always look delicious. Now, I've, uh, myself, I've actually purchased meat here, but I actually don't see a lot of people purchasing meat, but I have to imagine they are selling a lot of meat because the same shops are always open. Um, here are some souvenir, a hot shot. There are some kind of shops, but most of the clothing shops and stuff have a shut down over time. This is one of my favorite shops. I love hot sauce. This is a cool hot sauce shop. So um, you come in here and uh, if you're a hot sauce connoisseur, uh, definitely make sure you visit this shop. It's uh, a shop definitely for uh, you're going to enjoy and um, has all kinds of uh, from uh, ridiculous name hot sauces to legitimate real hot sauce. So. Uh, if you like hot sauces, I definitely would recommend her at least buying one bottle before you leave. Um, that's all they sell here. They, they don't sell anything else but anything that's uh, hot sauce and spicy. And uh, that's the owner there. Uh, actually, I, that, yep, that's the owner. And 
yeah, you know, you're seeing empty chairs, but normally, like I said, if you come here, don't expect that. It will be full. Um, there's fresh seafood. Um, you get pretty good seafood here in the West Coast in L.A. They do have a, uh, they have all kinds of pretty good dining. This is a restaurant where they actually serve you. Um, so when you come to the farmer's market, you can expect there's a wide variety of food from southern food to barbecue to sushi to pizza. Uh, they even have a Malaysian uh, food here at the farmer's market. So uh, basically anything you want to be able to get, you can get here at the farmer's market. It does have a wide variety of options. It's self-seating. It's, uh, it's sort of fast food style with restaurant quality food. Oh yeah, there's also a good Brazilian place here. That always is busy. Um, that's a coffee shop. They have a couple of coffee shops. That's the coffee shop I really like. And um, we didn't hit every shop in the farmer's market, but you definitely uh, is quite large. And uh, come here hungry. Don't don't come here not hungry. Okay. So um, that's the the food side of the farmer's market. Okay, that's the farmer's market, uh, and it's now connected to the Grove, which is just a shopping experience outdoors. So let's film this, and uh, if you come to L.A., I definitely recommend coming here. It's a lot of fun, and lots to do, and lots to eat. Oh, wait, this shop is awesome. It's all candy. Yeah. Let's go inside. <laughs> yeah, for anybody who wants to suck on a lollipop, you got one. <laughs> That's how. Blue one. And um, 
You're indecisive, are you? Yes. I mean, it's not like it's, uh, I mean. It's a life or death. Yeah. Yeah. It has to be life or death. And I'll get the strawberry. That's when I would have got from Stark. I would have got the strawberry from the Stark. And panic. <laughs> you panic? Did you panic? Yes, I panic. <laughs> All right, that was the Grove and the Farmer's Market. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned for more videos.